And there are a lot of ways that the community is looking to honor veterans in Northern California. The city of Elk Grove says it has an estimated 9,000 veterans living there. And since 2015, it has hung banners to honor those who serve. So joining us this morning to explain how you can get your loved one's names on those polls is City Council Member Sergio Robles. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Good morning. So you've had this program for a few years, and I would imagine it's been very popular with a lot of families who want to see people honored. Who are you hoping to reach out to? Yeah, for today, we're hoping to reach out several um, brothers in arms, anybody who has a son or a daughter who currently is serving or has um, served and would like to be uh, honored. Uh, just apply. We, we want to honor all our veterans. Uh, but before I continue, I just want to say I would be remiss if I didn't say happy birthday to the Devil Dogs, the Marine Corps. Um, <laughs> they are, are my brothers in arms, and I know it's their birthday today, oh. um, but happy birthday to them. So. I think that, that that is absolutely a good little diversion to make right there. Um, so there, it does cost a little something to be able to put, put this, this honor up. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so there are currently businesses and sponsors who will sponsor um, to hold the banners there at one fifth. Uh, they cost uh, $150. Um, but all the service member or the family needs to do is apply to the city and then just have proof of like a DD-214 and then also have a photo in the service. Okay, where are you, where do you anticipate you'll have them up this year? What's the plan? Yeah, so typically we um, do it on Elk Grove Boulevard right next to District 56, where we have our flags and we um, our veterans hall. Okay. Um, that's kind of where we have it for right now. And then I, we've also got up kind of a, a list of the locations here. There's 62 different light poles that are being used for this and a couple of locations where people will be able to see it. Are there um, any limitations or rules in terms of the banners? Um, not so much limitations or rules. Again, just having the DD-214 um, being honorably uh, discharged and then also having a photo of you in the uniform, uh, whether your dress blues or whether um, the, the ball uh, uniform or your OCPs. Um, so pretty much anyone can apply, but we actually are just seeking a lot of folks to apply. Um, we're excited to have people we want to honor our veterans and um, it's kind of what we're just hoping for today. And it's meaningful to people. They appreciate seeing the name or maybe a mom appreciates seeing the name as somebody is driving by. So it makes people at least stop for a moment, I would imagine, or reflect a little bit. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, 1% of the United States population joins the military. So it's definitely um, a sense of pride and a sense of joy. So when you're driving through there, you know, the sacrifices that several of our veterans made um, and including their families, it's, it's amazing that we as a city get to honor them. That's great. Well, I hope you get a lot of good submissions. I have a feeling you will. Thank you very much.